Now let's take up a very important type of problem, dear students. Assuming human pupil to have a radius of 0.25 cm and a comfortable weaving distance of 25 cm, the minimum separation between two objects that human eye can resolve at 500 nanometer wavelength is options A 1 micrometer, B 30 micrometer, C 100 micrometer and D 300 micrometer. The students, this kind of problem is been asked many a times before. This is a problem based on either human eye or telescope since both are similar. Here let's write down the datas first. The radius of pupil is given to be 0.25 centimeter but when I say human eye or telescope more than radius what is important is the diameter. So let me write down the diameter which is twice the radius that is 0.5 centimeter or 5 millimeter 5 into 10 power minus 3 meter. Then the distance of comfortable weaving that is least distance of distinct vision. Let me give the symbol capital D which is 25 centimeter. The wavelength of light used is given to be 500 nanometer or 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter. So what are we supposed to find out is the distance between the two point objects which are resolved or in other words which are just seen separately. So the condition to just resolve two closely lying point objects is that the angle subtended at the eye by those two point objects should be exactly equal to the limit of resolution of the eye. So this is the fundamental principle behind just resolution in case of both human eye and telescope. Now, let's make use of the diagram. The limit of resolution of telescope or human eye is given by an expression. Let me give a symbol d theta that is the minimum angle to be formed at the eye is given by 1.22 lambda divided by the diameter of the pupil. Now, in order to just resolve two closely lying point objects which are shown in the figure and which are separated by a distance x, there has to be an angle theta formed which should be exactly equal to d theta. Now from figure you can define what is that theta. The theta can be given by x divided by d. Now for just resolution, for just resolution, According to Rayleigh's criteria, this theta should be equal to d theta. That is, you can equate this x by d to 1.22 lambda divided by d. Now, this expression forms a very, very important expression because based on this particular expression, Questions have been asked many a times in many competitive exams. So students have to give more importance and more attention towards this particular expression. So there are four different parameters in this expression x, capital D, small d and lambda that is the wavelength. Out of these four they will give you any three and you are asked to find out the fourth one. Even in this particular problem the three different datas are given. And you're supposed to find out x. Let me write an expression for x here. It is 1.22 lambda into d divided by small d. So let me substitute the values 1.22 into wavelength of light is 5 into 10 power minus 7 into the distance of the screen is 25 into 10 power minus 2. That is the distance of the two point objects from the eyes. So here it is mentioned that for comfortable weaving, the distance should be 25 centimeters. So that has to be taken as capital D. Now, 
divided by the diameter is found to be 5 into 10 power minus 3 you can cancel this 5 over here and 1.22 into 25 is approximately you can say close to 30 so this is 30 in numerator you have 10 power minus 9 and in denominator 10 power minus 3 so that should be 10 power minus 6 x should be in meter so x is equal to 30 micrometer that should be the separation between the two closely lying point objects and i think uh, that is your option b therefore option b is the correct answer let's take up one more question two point white dots are one millimeter apart on a black paper they are viewed by eye of pupil diameter three millimeter approximately what is the maximum distance at which these dots can be resolved by the eye given wavelength of light used is 500 nanometer options a 6 meter b 3 meter c 5 meter and d 1 meter now this is also a problem based on human eye or which is similar to the telescope and the resolving power of the same Let's write down the data here. The separation between the two point objects is given to be 1 millimeter. Let me write it as x is equal to 1 millimeter. Now, the pupil diameter is given to be 3 millimeter. 3 into 10 power minus 3 meter. The wavelength of light used is 500 nanometer, that is 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter. And let's find out at what distance from the objects the two objects are resolved that is capital D is to found out again the idea of this problem is the same as the previous one that is the angle subtended at the eye should be equated to the limit of resolution of the human eye and limit of resolution is given by 1.22 lambda divided by d which is the diameter should be equated to the angle subtended that is given by the ratio of x to d that is the distance of the objects from the eye so this should be equated to x divided by d and here unknown thing is the capital d which is the distance of the objects from the eye that is d is equal to x into d divided by 1.22 lambda so substitute the values 1 into 10 power minus 3 into 3 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 1.22 into wavelength is 5 into 10 power minus 7 so in numerator you have 3 into 10 power minus 6 so in numerator you have 3 into 10 power minus 6 and in denominator 5 into 1.2 is approximately 6 into 10 power minus 7 as it is so 3 by 6 is half into 10 power minus 1 in denominator becomes 10 in numerator therefore it is 10 by 2 so it has to be 5 in meter so d the distance of the point objects from the eye should be 5 meter for them to be resolved therefore option c is the correct answer 5 meter now let's work out a question on limit of resolution of a microscope the limit of resolution of a microscope is 3 into 10 power minus 6 meter when the medium between the object and objective is air. If the system is immersed in an oil of refractive index 1.5, the limit of resolution will be options A. 4.5 into 10 power minus 6 meter B. 3 into 10 power minus 6 meter C. 2 into 10 power minus 6 meter and D. 1.5 into 10 power minus 6 meter we know that the limit of resolution of a microscope is given by the formula we write down limit of resolution 
of microscope is given by dx is equal to lambda divided by 2n sin theta where n is the refractive index of the medium between object and objective. If the medium is air, that is in air, the value of refractive index is 1. So you can write dx is equal to lambda divided by 2 sin theta. And in this problem, this limit of resolution is given to be 3 into 10 power minus 6 meter. Now, there is one more condition given where the entire system of microscope is immersed in an oil of refractive index 1.5 in oil of refractive index 1.5 let me write down the limit of resolution formula once again dx is equal to lambda divided by 2n sin theta this can be written as 1 by n times lambda divided by 2 sin theta however lambda divided by 2 sin theta is already found out to be 3 into 10 power minus 6 therefore this is 1 over refractive index is 1.5 into lambda by 2 sin theta is 3 into 10 power minus 6 so when you simplify this you're left with uh, dx is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 6 meter or 2 micrometer which is your option c therefore option c is the correct answer now let's take up the next question dear students two points separated by a distance of 0 0.1 millimeter can just be observed using a microscope when light of wavelength 600 nanometer is used if light of wavelength 480 nanometer is used, this limit of resolution becomes options A 0 0.8 millimeter, B 0 0.1 millimeter, C 0 0.125 millimeter, and D 0 0.08 millimeter. This is based on limit of resolution of a microscope. Here, for a particular wavelength lambda 1, which is 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter or 600 nanometer the limit of resolution of microscope is given to be 0 0.1 millimeter or 10 power minus 4 meter now when you use another light of different wavelength let me call it as lambda 2 which is given by 4.8 into 10 power minus 7 meter or 480 nanometer we'll have to find out the new limit of resolution that is dx2 so we know that limit of resolution of a microscope depends on the wavelength of incident light. And how does that depend on wavelength? dx is given by the formula limit of resolution of microscope we are discussing. dx is equal to lambda divided by 2n sin theta. Here n is the refractive index of the medium between object and objective. Lambda is the wavelength of light used. Now look at the relation between limit of resolution and wavelength they are just directly proportional for a given microscope and for a given medium of separation between object and objective so dx is directly proportional to lambda which means dx1 by dx2 is equal to lambda1 by lambda2 or dx2 by dx1 is lambda2 by lambda1 now we are supposed to find out dx2 that is equal to remember dx2 is the new limit of resolution when the wavelength is changed this should be equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 into dx1 lambda 2 is 4.8 into 10 power minus 7 divided by lambda 1 is 6 into 10 power minus 7 into dx1 is 10 power minus 4 meter so you can cancel this off and 4.8 divided by 6 is nothing but uh, you can cancel this using 1.2 so the numerator you are left with 4 and denominator that is 5 so if this is 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 into 10 power minus 4 4 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.8 into 10 power minus 4 meter and since the options are mentioned in millimeter I think you can also ex express this as 0 0.08 millimeter. 
So that is the new limit of resolution dx2 is equal to 0.08 millimeter. This is correctly given in option D. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Now let's go to the next question. Numerical aperture of a microscope is 0.16 and light of wavelength 480 nanometer is used to view objects separated by a distance less than options a 1 micrometer b 1.5 micrometer c 3 micrometer and d 4.8 micrometer let's write down the data as given here the numerical aperture of a microscope we know that the numerical aperture of a microscope is given by the formula n sin theta which gives you the measure of amount of light that reaches the objective of the microscope it is it depends on the refractive index of the medium between the object and objective and also on the semi vertical angle so numerical aperture n sin theta is given to be 0 0.16 the wavelength of light used is 480 nanometer or 4.8 into 10 power minus 7 meter and what is asked is to find the least distance between the two point objects below which they can't be seen separately that is nothing but the limit of resolution of the microscope so we'll straight away write down the formula for the limit of resolution of a microscope dx is equal to lambda divided by 2n sin theta or this can also be written as lambda by 2 into what is n sin theta this n sin theta can also be written as numerical aperture 2 into numerical aperture so dx is equal to wavelength of light lambda is 4.8 into 10 power minus 7 divided by 2 into numerical aperture is 0 0.16 remember numerical aperture being equal to n sin theta it's just a number and it does not carry any units and dimensions so dx is equal to 4.8 divided by 0 0.32 can be written as 3.2 into 10 power minus 1 so there is 10 power minus 7 in numerator and 10 power minus 1 in denominator so this is uh, you can cancel using 1.6 so in numerator it is 3 and in denominator we have 2 you can remember 16 table so this is 3 divided by 2 into 10 power minus 6 so this is nothing but 1.5 10 power minus 6 is micro so 1.5 micrometer is the least distance of separation between two point objects below which they cannot be seen separated or in other words the limit of resolution of the microscope is 1.5 micrometer when 480 nanometer of light is used so this is correctly given in option b therefore option b is the correct answer